Welcome, everybody. Hey, hey. <laughs> Good boy, Tucker. Work smarter where you want. This is learning at its most fun. All right. Well, good morning to some and good afternoon to others. Thank you for joining us for another Best Practice Partner Spotlight with Red Tail CRM. I'm your host, Austin Johnson, trainer and subject matter expert. And today we have Investing Logically powered by ETF Logic. All right. Well, without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to my co-host today, Emil and Lindsay. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Austin. Hi, Lindsay. Uh, hi, Emil. So before we get started today, I wanted to get to know you two just a little bit more. So uh, can, Lindsay, you tell us a little bit about yours and Emil's journey into this industry? Sure. So Emil and I have both been in the financial services industry, uh, more specifically the ETF industry, for, for over 16 years. Um, so I'm Lindsay, I, I run our sales team and joined with Emil Tarazi, who's our CEO and uh, co-founder of ETF Logic. Um, I'll start with Emil, a little bit about his background. He began his career on the UBS program trading desk, where he designed and ran high frequency trading strategies and managed portfolio risk. Then at HSBC, he worked on the Delta One desk trading ETFs and index swaps. Subsequently, at Cantor Fitzgerald, he ran the firm's ETF lead market making book, uh, working closely with ETF issuers to list and trade their products. So I, I started my career at JP Morgan, uh, moving from the private bank to investment banking to sales and trading, all focused on the asset management industry. Uh, when I left JP Morgan, I joined an ETF issuer as a salesperson. And when I met Emil and team and learned about the tools they were building at ETF Logic, it was a natural fit for me and I knew I had to be, to be part of it. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of turn it over to Emil to tell you a little bit about you know, why he started the company and, and kind of the genesis of, of Logically. Yeah, thanks Lindsay for the uh, introduction. So ETF Logic was started in 2017 uh, our inspiration was to build tools for ETF issuers. Uh, issuers are constantly innovating and creating new ETF products. And uh, by and large, a lot of these products uh, might be very similar to you know, other ETF issuers. So our goal was to help uh, communicate those differences and uh, give, give issuers the tools to uh, essentially show how ETFs fit in portfolios. Um, somewhere along the line, we realized that you know, ETF issuers want to get uh, more in front of advisors. Uh, something like three quarters of ETF assets are in under advisor control. So with that goal in mind, we built Logically. Logically is a web-based uh, platform for uh, delivering data and research and, and analytics around ETFs, mutual funds, and single stocks. But more, more than just data, it's about workflows. It's about portfolio analysis. It's about deep diving um, into uh, portfolios of ETFs or mutual funds and understanding what's under the hood, uh, understanding maybe hidden risks or hidden exposures across many different dimensions, um, risk costs, uh, income yield and distribution uh, and ESG amongst uh, other things. Um, so that's uh, logically in a nutshell. Um, Lindsay? Yeah, so, so what problems would you say that logically solves for advisors or for the advisors and clients? Right, so today if you're an advisor, you're greeted by pretty complex uh, and, and crowded, I'd say, financial technology or advisor technology landscape. Um, in addition, you know, if, if you want to do portfolio construction, your the default is usually a spreadsheet. So you have sort of this disjoint workflow between different applications and spreadsheets. And the goal behind Logically is to streamline 
that investment management workflow with a few clicks. So our platform is focused on three key concepts to help reduce this friction that advisors face um, when they're looking for new investment ideas, new ETFs, or trying to understand how those ETFs fit in a portfolio. So the first is really a unique database of analytics, um, I would say in some cases homegrown analytics, um, and insights on thousands of, of investment products and ETFs. Second is uh, integrations uh, and APIs so that wherever your uh, portfolio information is, whether it's within Redtail or maybe other custodians, uh, we want to be able to easily connect to them and bring that information into the Logic Loop platform. So uh, integrations and APIs. And then third is what we call Called the portfolio coach, which is one of the main things we want to show you today. A portfolio coach is uh, just that. It's a coach that helps you uh, look and automatically monitor uh, portfolios, your clients' portfolios, and provides insights on how to control for risk, cost, and potentially boost returns. So logically helps advisors eliminate some of these tedious tasks of portfolio management and allows you to spend more time focusing on clients. Thanks, Emil. Uh, if you could, could you please give us a demonstration of how ETF logic works and particularly how it integrates with Redtail? Yes, absolutely. So, so now I've switched over to the Logically platform here. And um, just to give you a little understanding of what the integration is with Redtail. So first, this integration will allow Logically users to access your investment and portfolios from your Redtail CRM with your single sign-on from Redtail. And then pull those portfolio holdings directly from your Redtail account into the Logically portfolio tools, um, the portfolio coach that Emil mentioned and others. And that's what we're going to, to show you today. But real quick to show you how to set up, first you'd have to be um, you know, a client of, of Logically, which we'll go through at the end how to, um, how to sign up for Logically. But once you're in the Logically, the integration button here um, under account on the top right integrations. And you'll see we have integrations with Redtail and Schwab. As Emil mentioned, this is um, this is growing. So you're not using one of these custodians, or in this case, guys, we're all using Tail, so you should set up. Uh, but we're, we're we'll be adding more. Um, so from here, I would click on more for Redtail, and I would click add to add my uh, Redtail accounts, and you go directly to your same login for Redtail. I'm just going to use one of our um, one of our test accounts here at Logically. Just bear with me one second while I put in the username and password. And then you see here, so the integration request is being processed. So it'll just take a few seconds here. And then all of your, your portfolios, your accounts will be synced here into, into the platform here in just one moment. So here again, this is a you know test account. So I just have a few. Um, accounts here. And I want to, you know, for the ones that you want to add to Logically so that you can do these analysis, you clearly, you just click over to add these to my portfolios. So these are all added. So now when I go back to the homepage here and I go into my portfolios, this will include any portfolio that you've ever created on Logically or that you've ever synced or you've ever uploaded. So in this case, these are the three that just came in from Redtail. So that's basically the gist of how the integration works. So, you know, kind of what value does that create for you? And, and you'll see this as we go through the demo, but, you know, it's important to note that your portfolios are synced daily. Um, again, you know, you're able to pull these directly in so you can use uh, the analysis tool and the portfolio coach to monitor investment policies, receive alerts, rebalancing notifications, all types of stuff on your portfolio to make sure that you're staying in line um, with your with your clients, you know, different mandates. So let me take a step back 
now um, that we've showed you the integration and just kind of give you a walkthrough of a few things on, on Logically. So what does Logically do? I know Emil mentioned some of this in the beginning, um, but we like to think of it in, in different tool sets. So fund screening, you know, finding specific funds that meet your client's needs. Maybe you know they don't want any um, you know, fossil fuel exposure or they're looking for a certain risk parameter or they're looking for a certain thematic type of ETF. Um, that's kind of where you can go and search. And again, it's not just ETFs, it's mutual funds as well. Um, also trends. So what is everyone else doing? Um, looking at flows, looking at what's going into different products and kind of tell you, you know, what the market is feeling. And then most importantly, the portfolio tools. So um, the analysis, which we'll go through at the end and, and the coach, which we mentioned already. Um, some other ones such as side by side when you're doing uh, proposals for for a client, you know, you would pull in their existing portfolio and then say, okay, make some changes to that based on you know your recommendations, and then present those side by side. Here's your beginning portfolio. Here's what I'm going to do for you. And then a model marketplace, um, as we mentioned, a place where you can go and look for existing you know third party models and, and pull those into these analysis um, as well. But let's start. I think we we want to start here with with the coach. Um, I'm going to let Emil kind of drive. Um, some of the conversation here, but we'll start, I'll, I'll just jump into the portfolio coach tool here for you. First thing you're greeted by when you load up the portfolio coach is this dashboard. Um, when you have your portfolios coming into logically, you can decide whether you want to have them uh, monitored by the coach or not. So let's just pick one of these that's uh, already synchronized here. Yep. That, maybe that one. So this is kind of the next view is a little bit deeper um, uh, drill down on that on this specifically on this specific uh, client portfolio. So the first thing you see is this you know, pie chart of the uh, asset allocation, and then uh, the boxes on on the right are essentially your investment policies. So. Uh, things like allocation risk, distribution, ESG, and taxes. So we'll talk a little bit more about what these are, but essentially uh, for each portfolio or household, you're able to uh, configure investment policy um, and, and uh, on a very detailed level. So we can dive into the allocation part first. Each of these has a little configuration icon that you can open up. And on this window, this basically shows you, um, you know, what uh, allocation, uh, what asset allocation targets you want for this portfolio. Uh, right now, we have it configured in a sort of a high-level view, um, but we have much more granular um, exposures. So equity can be broken down further, for example, into emerging markets, uh, developed markets, uh, fixed income could be high yield. Um, uh, investment grade, short term, you can also allocate to commodities. So you can set these percentage exposures. Another, th another thing we can do is also set an allocation uh, to match a model. So we have a model marketplace, which brings in ETF model portfolios. You could say, I want my client's portfolio to uh, uh, basically implement either the model directly or uh, the asset allocation exposures that the model is expressing. So you might not want to be invested in exactly those ETFs um, that the model is suggesting, or maybe you want to be in similar things. So when you, uh, you'll notice that this allocation exposure is currently red. So it's basically saying, uh, based on what you, what your investment policy is, you're a little further away. So when you click on uh, the box, you get a more detailed view on allocation. So what's happened here is you have a 60% policy target to equity. You're actually a little bit further away. It could be for any reason. The market's moved um, or maybe, you know, it's rebalanced into maybe more equity than you want. Um, you can drill down further and see what's driving those exposures. So in this particular case, we're you know, almost equal weight, uh, these different ETFs. Um, 
and you'll see where that equity exposure is, uh, is coming from. Um, we'll just touch on some of the other investment policies so you can kind of see the power of the coach. So with cost, this is about um, uh, management uh, fees that the funds charge. So in this particular case, you can set a um, expense uh, a target and uh, here it's fairly broad. It's you're saying you want to pay up to, you're okay paying up to 80 basis points. On an average basis, your portfolio is actually 31 basis points. So you're well within uh, that range. So it's not, that's why it's green up at the top, it's okay. Uh, but yet, you know, if you drill down, you can see maybe ways you could reduce that cost. So uh, some of these rows are yellow. Um, if they were kind of over the range, they would be red. Uh, when you expand some of these yellow rows, you get what's called uh, you know, you, you, you tap into our similarity database. So for SDY, which is a dividend fund, for example, or Lindsay has this expanded, there's three suggestions. Uh, for example, JDiv, the JP Morgan dividend fund, 99% similar based on performance, 93% similar based on exposure. And again, exposure is driven by the underlying holdings because we get daily ETF holdings, uh, what, what the fund is holding. So we can look at SDY and JDiv and see that they're actually very similar in terms of the actual underlying constituents. And the important point here is obviously the expense ratio. So the names that are suggested are all cheaper than the 35 BIPs uh, management fee that uh, SDY charges. So in, in the case of JDiv, it's 12 basis points. Um, Nice feature here is the compare securities, which uh, Lindsay can click on real quick. It pops up another application and within logically, which is the uh, side by side. So yeah, go ahead and uh, apply that. So what's happened is it's comparing these two funds across a lot of different dimensions. Um, go down to maybe the performance just to show similarity. Uh, so in, in the and the back test, uh, so the back test is pretty simple because these are just you know one security against another. You could go up there and, and create you know a much more expansive portfolio. You can see the performance kind of similar. They've ended up at the same place. Maybe maybe the SDY fund, uh, which is in the blue line in this case, has performed a little better back in you know early part of 2020. Um, but then on the, you know, you see the exposure breakdowns, uh, you know, both US exposures, maybe slightly different sector breakdowns, et cetera. Um, so let's switch back to, so, you know, just final note on the side-by-side, -side. This, this is a great way to uh, compare two portfolios and then you can hit the PDF button and download, um, yeah, if you just expand that real quick, you'll see, you can customize which uh, sections or studies you want to see and then have a cover page and, and, um, and download a PDF. So um, if we go to the back to the coach, um, let's just see what other uh, touch points of risk, uh, distribution. Again, they all kind of provide similar uh, monitoring capabilities as well as um, uh, you know, having all that data embedded there where you can see uh, similar funds that the algorithm is suggesting. Uh, let's jump ahead to the ESG because I think that's um, something that a lot of people ask for these days. Um, so we have uh, these things called warning flags on single stocks on, on the stock holdings. And so we can see um, any particular issues um, that you may want to flag. So if we're, for example, if your client says, you know, I, I definitely don't want to have any exposure to firearms, let's say, or, or nuclear stocks, you could uncheck, you know, you could uncheck everything else and just check those and then set a weight. You could even set it to 0%. Um, and then 
the alerting mechanism will tell you whether uh, you know if the funds rebalance or if your portfolio rebalances and violates any of those policies you'll get an alert here and then you can drill down and see where that exposure is coming from is it because of one of these ETFs um, and and what's driving that. So uh, I guess the final note on the coach is the um, tax loss harvesting capabilities, which um, really powerful uh, capabilities to easily uh, monitor for uh, opportunities. If the market moves like, like it did back, you know, in a big way uh, back in uh, earlier 2020, uh, you need an easy, scalable way to monitor for losses and then have potential uh, switch trades, you know, in this case, ETF focused switch trades. Um, because there are, you know, there are 2,500 plus ETFs in the US. And a lot of them do the same thing. A lot of them give you the same exposures. Uh, so uh, being able to swap one position for another, uh, harvest the tax credit can really help boost uh, after tax returns. So um, the final point here is, you know, we have this portfolio coach is all about uh, bringing in your portfolios uh, in the case of the tax loss tool, you need to have tax lot information coming in that typically comes through uh, custodial integrations. Um, and then you're able to pick and choose, you know, how you want to move your portfolio from one, one place to another, whether it's a rebalancing against the model or rebalancing to control for cost or risk. Uh, or ESG or whatnot, whatever, whatever policy you want to set. And then the ability to uh, rebalance and generate a trade list, which you can then import back into your, um, uh, into your trading system, whatever that is. Um, so I think that wraps it up a little bit on, on the coach. Um, I just wanted to mention one thing, Emil. Um, so the notifications, so any time that your portfolio or one of your portfolios is starting to get close to that, you know, that going above that target, it's going to send you an alert. Um, again, so it's constantly monitoring for you. So you don't have to be doing this, right? It has your back. It's saying, okay, maybe you should pay attention to your allocation now because something shifted or in this case, you know, my income. Um, and it allows you to just look at that alert, come in, drill down further, and then it also creates an audit trail of what changes you've made. So that's important for, for Reg BI purposes. You have an audit trail of why you made that change and what you moved into. And it's also supported by you know, the third party um, you know, analytics that we've, we've provided here. Yeah, that's a great point. And uh, yeah, very powerful one uh, for the coach. Um, so yeah, let's dive into the uh, portfolio analysis is kind of a uh, another significant uh, tool on the Logically platform. So a lot, of, uh, <laughs> a lot of the analytics that are driving the portfolio coach, you can kind of run yourself if you want uh, through this uh, very powerful portfolio analysis tool. So what Lindsay's done here is she's loaded up um, a, a portfolio that's already in the system. This is a, uh, again, a sample portfolio that you can build on the fly. You don't necessarily have to integrate it. You can actually uh, input it uh, like, we, like we did here. Um, yeah, just using this input form. Um, and then the analysis options uncover a uh, set of, you know, a dozen or so, half a dozen or so um, different applications, really underlying applications on backtesting, uh, risk analysis, performance attribution. So let's let's see a couple of those. Um, if you scroll further down, and again, all that you see here is PDFable, uh, downloadable to Excel. Um, so in the in the historical performance, for example, um, we've run a simulation of that portfolio that Lindsay loaded, and then 
in this case, there's a benchmark. So there's um, the benchmark can be any other portfolio or, or any other ETF. So in this case, it's a, it's a blend of uh, SPY and, and AGG. Uh, so you can see the performance there. Um, and then maybe we'll just touch on some of the other uh, deep dives, like the exposure deep dives. Um, so, you know, diving really deep into what's being held underneath the hood in, in those funds, uh, breakdowns on, uh, you know, the overall portfolio, geographic breakdowns on the equity portions, uh, market cap breakdowns, sector breakdowns. Um, any fixed income in here? Yeah. Right. So, on the fixed income side, you know, where exposures are coming. Um, uh, and, and maturity breakdowns and credit breakdowns. So just a very, very uh, detailed, detailed analyses. Um, on the risk side, a lot of interesting, unique uh, views as well. Um, one interesting way to look at risk that we like to, to showcase a lot is this drawdown exposure. So this is uh, drawdown, uh, this shows you your drawdowns over time. Um, you know, you want to minimize the roller coaster ride uh, in general. So being able to look at this graph, compare it versus the benchmark, uh, you can see that I think, you know, the red line is the portfolio here versus the benchmark. You can kind of see that time back in, you know, 2010, 2009, 2010, you see that that red line recovery is a little bit better um, than the benchmark portfolio or the index in this case, which is the S&P um, or SPX. So you can go in there. I think there might be some more information below that graph too. Lindsay, I know you've uh, kind of zoomed in your browser here, but um, yeah, a lot of detail, you know, a lot more details down here for, for people who really want to get into the numbers. Um, on these different drawdown periods and, and you know how fast things recover. So you can look at it visually, you can look at it in a very quantitative way as well. Um, so I think we'll leave it there. And there's a lot of, obviously a lot of details in the platform. Um, and we'd love to uh, take any questions or uh, dive deeper uh, if, uh, if people wanted to, to see other, other parts of this. Yeah, thanks, Emil. I, there's so much here that the platform can offer. Uh, if anybody has any, like, um, wants to know more about the platform, what can they do to maybe get started with Logically or, or talk to somebody more about the product one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, sure. So we actually um, are giving out a free trial for, for those that attended this webinar today. Um, the, you can go to, if you can see my screen now, um, app.logically, L-O-G-I-C-L-Y, dot finance slash sign up. And if you enter the code REDTAIL2021, we'll give you a free seven day trial. Um, also, if you, if you just would like to talk to me or someone on my team, you can just reach out to us at sales at etflogic.io. And then, of course, you could visit um, our website for, for more information. But we'd love to, to get you guys on board, um, you know, kind of walk you through it through a demo. So please feel free to, to sign up or, or reach out to us uh, directly. Awesome. Thanks, Leslie. Yeah, if you would just leave that on the screen there so people can write down that information if they have any questions or um, want to sign up for that free trial. But we're actually going to answer some of your questions live now. All right. The first question we have today is from Ryan. He asks, what's the pricing for a license and is there a discount for purchasing multiple seats? Yeah, I'll, I will take that. So so right now, as a platform exists, um, it is at $199 a month um, subscription license per seat for the platform. Um, and if there's more than five seats within your company that, that will be discounted. And obviously the more seats, the, the cheaper it would be per seat. Um, we, you know, we mentioned the portfolio coach and there, there are um, new 
capabilities with the portfolio coach, such as the trade list generation and, and some of those rebalancing notifications that we spoke about. Um, and that'll be live in September um, of this year. And so the, the cost for that is going to be an additional um, an additional cost. But for, for right now, it's a $199 per month uh, per user per seat. Thanks, Lindsay. All right, this next question here is from Diane. And um, she wants to know a little bit more about, you said something about September. So what is the future of the portfolio coach? Emil, do you want to jump in on this one? Yeah, sure. So uh, you may have noticed in the uh, when, we, when we brought it up, uh, portfolio coaches in beta. So it's uh, getting released in full mode uh, later this month with a whole host of new features more integrations, uh, better capabilities around trade list generation and rebalancing. I should note also, it's uh, our platform is international in nature. So uh, obviously you can, uh, we support uh, you know, stocks that are listed all over the world and also in Canada and Europe. Uh, so the coach is, is uh, gearing up for uh, international expansion as well. So those are some of the things that are, are getting rolled out. And uh, all right, well, I think that's all of our questions for today. Lindsay, Emil, thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you audience for coming and participating with us today and learning more about what Logically and ETF Logic can offer you. Um, again, if you're interested in learning more, please email sales at etflogic.io or go ahead and sign up for that free trial information there is on the screen for you. Thanks so much for joining us today for this particular session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 800-206-5030, option three for support, or just shoot us an email over to support at redtailtechnology.com. Thanks a lot. And have a great day.